through this house. Take your control. Cast a bind. Any evil power. Hey! La 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 la. Pono. Scatter. Scatter. It's you! Hey. It is for your own good, man. It is for your own good. This is not good for me. This is no good for me! How can you say that prayer is not good? Hey! May God deliver your spirit. Yeah. May God deliver your soul! Amen! Now you listen to me. I have work tomorrow and I have to sleep. If I hear one more word from you, what I will do to you, you will not like it. Hey! I was only... What did I just say? <sighs> Shut your mouth! Let me just hear you speak or pray again in this house. Hey! Rubbish! Ha ha! Hi! Hi. Mm. Hello. This one is strong! Go! Hey! Nathaniel, no, 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 no! Where is this anger from? Hey, Jesus, where is this anger from? Ha! Nathaniel, I will force you to go to God and hug God! Hey! What is all this about? Look at you, shy, shy, Bobo. Pretending as if you don't like this I am calling you. Look, I don't have to. Wait now. Your breakfast is ready. What is this? Huh? What? You stained my shirt! Do you like it? I like it. I see you like it. Hey! You're, you're not going to eat 
it again. You did not eat yesterday. Oh. It... This is for you. In case you didn't. Natalia, come and eat this food, you know. This one, you know. Eh? Come and eat you know, the food that I prepared with so much love in my heart. Eh? You, you are leaving it to waste like that. Eh? You will not come when I was preparing this food for you. Come back at We can still spin things around. And besides, it's not nice to call your wife a thing. Why not? I mean, which same person serves swallow for breakfast? <laughs> wait, wait, come on, relax. It probably that's how she was raised. She's, she's just so dumb. <laughs> Alright, relax. She's just a sweet girl, like this sweet village girl, you know? And why did you, why did you even marry her? As if I had a choice. But I warned you. I couldn't go against my mother. Wanted to. Ah, oh boy, fix it. I'll stop being a no husband. Hey, please. Stop like Do not insult me. Okay. okay? Right. This is my cross. Allow me to carry it. Okay, big boy. See how you're carrying it. Okay, what's up? What are you doing tomorrow? Uh, nothing much. Just for work. Okay. <laughs> Friend of mine asked me to come to an act exhibition tomorrow. You wanna come? Anything that is going to distract me from you. I'm okay. Really, this is not funny. I'm not really down. Anyway, in the way your marriage is going, I think I'll remain single for some time. That's your problem. If you like, wait till you're 50 years. Oh. Anyway, I'll run. I'll pick you tomorrow by four. Right. Big boy. Get up, get up, get up. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, tell him I'll be with him shortly. Okay. This is beautiful. Who is he? This is Nathan. <coughs> okay, um, it is beautiful and I've heard so much about him already and I cannot wait to see him. But please, do not keep Mr. Clinton waiting. She you know he's not a patient man. Uh, yes, just try and keep him busy with something, okay? I'll be with him shortly. Okay, we'll just finish right. this up. behind this hat? Um, truly, there is no inspiration behind this. Nonsense. There is no art without inspiration. It's okay. If you don't want to share, there is no problem. Um, I can understand. Some things are better kept in the hat than sharing it. Well, I... I painted this two years ago. I mean, it helped me heal a lot during my depression, pain, and heartbreak. Bit by bit, day by day, I would cry at night. I poured my feelings in this art. It really means a lot to me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You 
really have a test for good morning. Um, expect a glowing review from me. Make you a check for this. That is, if the price is fair. Um, I'm sorry, but this is not for sale. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. If you make up your mind on this to sell, bring it to my house. Hmm? Thank you for stopping by. I wish you well. Food is lady. Is that what you're finding so difficult to say? It's because I don't want you to shout at me. Okay. I am not hungry. Since I came into this house, you hardly eat my food. Wait, oh. Do you want to shove the food down my throat even when I'm not hungry? Mba. Don't be angry, oh. It will go anywhere. There is something else I want to ask you. It has been bothering me since. Okay, what is it? Your mother, my family. Uh, Ngozi, can you go straight to the point? Oh. What is it? The thing is that your mother, she... Can you stop blabbing and tell me what the problem is? What has my mother done? She is asking when we will have a baby. What? Hey, don't be angry. They are the ones asking me. I am not the one asking them. Eh? Manoya de Kwanu Mana, or Bruno no with small small children that are running around in the house. Eh? Kani Bunuma Hokono, since you are not always around. Okay. I am not ready to have children. When will you be ready? Eh? We cannot be sleeping in, in separate rooms unless no one has a uncle. Because if it is sharp, you will not be running away from me. Ngozi, are you tired? Tired of what? Are you tired of this marriage? Hey! Mbano! When should I be tired? When we are just starting? Well, like I said, I am not ready to have children. If it's a problem for you, you're free to walk out of this marriage. Oh, 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 Makanda, Before you know it now, they will start talking, talking, talking. That, that you are not capable, eh? Meanwhile, I know that you are capable. Ngozi, can you leave me alone? Leave me alone. So you're not going to tell me who your friend is? Relax. Let's not see her. Your love interest? <laughs> I wish. It's a surprise. Calm down, man. Well, she better be pretty. I wish. <laughs> Nathaniel. Good afternoon, Mom. 
What is good about this afternoon? Eh, Nata? I have been calling you since morning. Why did you keep your phone? Mom, I... <laughs> Don't even go explaining. I want to tell you, Nata, I am in your house already. Hmm? Now beg you come now. So whatever you are doing, just round it up. Now, 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 and start coming home. Hello? Mom? Hello? Hello? What's up, man? My mom is in my house. What does she want? I'm sure you got called her over. Oh, really? I need to fight her. If it was a fight, that would have been better. What's up, man? What's she up? wants a child. <clears throat> but my man, don't you think it's high time already? Hmm? It's been a year and a half, and... What are you waiting for? I am not ready. I don't think I'll ever be ready. You ought to be ready, man. I ought to. Really? Yeah, man. What do you mean I ought to? Don't tell me that. Okay, fine. Let's go. What do you mean what I what, what, what do I mean? Okay, fine. What are talking about? Ah, ask Nala. Go ask the man. Eli? Eh, whoa. Move now. You know, go on. Ngozika. Nana, I'm not sure. 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 So she don't go in a leak and no, or no, not the You are in your husband's house. Why are you walking? Is this the way you walk about in your own husband's house? I was being careful so that the water will not stop. Ngozika, Ngozika, this is why you have not been able to win your husband to your side. It's you can't know you know. It's you can't know you want. What is it, Ngozika? I need grandchildren. No? I need grandchildren. And if you continue the way you are going, I am afraid I will have to withdraw my support for you. I will. Who did it? Nay. That is actually why I called you. How can I give you grandchildren? When Nathaniel does not even look at me, he does not eat my food. He hardly say a word to me. If I talk to him, that is why I called you. Because I am tired. Do you know that we don't even sleep in the same room? <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry yourself. Hmm? I will be here until he comes back. He's going to come back and meet me here. Kangwazeli, I am not leaving this house until you are pregnant. Yes. Ah, but I'm, this place is heat, very, very hot. Eh? Uh, on that AC. Nay, I don't know how to on the AC. It's again. Yeah! Ngosika! Chibu, you don't know how to on the AC. You have been here for more than one year. Umokwai Is there anything you know how to do? Ngosika! Ibudim Pataka! Eh? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I like this. It is it is speaking to my soul. It's dramatic. Vibrant and it's stark. 
<laughs> it is everything you said, but about speaking to your soul and dramatic and whatever. Bro, this is just a painting. Let me tell you, there's a lot we're painting than all these patches of colors that you see. I beg, make her here. Paint not paint, brother. You guys do have a reason. I want to buy it. Well, unfortunately, it has been sold. You're welcome. Thank you. Excuse me, are you the brain behind this artwork? Mm -hmm. Actually, my boss. Your boss? Mm -hmm. She has a touch of magic. <laughs> no, I'm serious. This is really nice. You can say that again. My name is Clara and I'm a sister. Uh, oh, oh Clara. You're beautiful. I'm Frank. Thank you. <laughs> no, nice meeting you. Yeah. She actually said you could come in, so let me get her. Oh, uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Why are you being so weird? What's the meaning of that? Come on! She's not beautiful. And you have to admire good things when you see one. Really? And bro, this time, I'll marry this one. Oh, you marry this one? But don't forget you are here for her boss. <laughs> Sorry. You are here for her boss. What in God's name are you talking about? Why am I here for her boss? <sighs> Watch and Excuse me. Excuse me. Hello? Hello. Why are you so sluggish? Bring down those clothes. Bring them down. Keep bringing them down. What is it? Mama, you don't know your son, no? Eh? He does not want me anywhere near him. Moving into his room, I don't know how he would take it though. Oh. Mama. Do you still want this marriage? Yes, ma'am. Ah, if you still want this marriage, then we will put our heads together and make it work. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Bring them. Bring them. Bring them. Bring them. Oh yeah. Come. Put that thing up. Come. What is it? Come. I'm glad you could make it. How you doing? Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm glad you came. I'm so sorry. I did not make it on time for your exhibition. I got hooked up with work. It's okay. I understand. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you're here. Yeah, I'm here. Your works are amazing. I, I got some critics online, social media and all those stuff. I even got your interview. I saw your interview with A&A. &A. Oh my God. I'm so proud of you. Thank you so much. You're doing well for yourself. It's God. <laughs> wow. What do we have here? Hi, Nathan. Hi. It's... it's you. Yes, it's me. Actually, he didn't know he was coming to see you. Oh. Well, all the same, I'm grateful. Um. Is this your place? Is this all you? Yes, it is. Wow. I'm, I'm happy you followed your dreams. I'm so proud of you. you you're doing great. Thank you. <coughs> I'm sorry, I have to go and check the other collections. Oh. You look look great. Thank you. <laughs> and you look great as well. Oh, thank you. I'm trying. <laughs> it's been a long time. S so long. Oh. It's good to see you. Same here. We have a lot to catch up on. Yeah, right? <laughs> a whole yeah. lot. <laughs> we have a lot to talk about. Why don't let's just go to my office so we could talk. Yeah, sure. All right. <laughs> sure. Um, Nathan, I am really happy to see you. And it's been a long time. Yeah, it's been a long time. It's good to see you too. Same here. I mean, you're doing so well. Look, look at your place. It's all art. I know. Thank you. And you're doing pretty well yourself. I'm trying, you know. What can a man do? So, how have you been? Well, I've been good. You know, after what your mother did to me, I... 
out to me. Yeah, you never reached out. And I tried to reach out to you, but you blocked every means of reaching out to you. I like what it is. I wanted to forget you. I wanted to, to move away from anything that connects me to you. It must have been hard. Alani, I am truly sorry. I guess we both are happy, right? Yeah. You're right. Uh, it's all in the past. And uh, I'm happy to see you. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, you're not trying. How can you mess me up like this? What did I do? Did you tell me it was her? I wanted to surprise you. Come down. What kind of surprise is this? I hate cheap surprises. I mean, how can you drag me to be my ex looking like a noodle? Oh, okay. Thank you, John. Paul. If you're not looking for a surprise, right? okay, stop it. I hate that song. What did you guys to settle things? There is nothing to settle. I am married now. Alani is my past. See, you always pass for the new shadow. What I mean, I want you guys to settle is like for you guys to settle your old grudges. And maybe you can finally heal and focus on your marriage. You don't hate your marriage, my man. You only hate the person you are in the marriage with. Okay, and you know, Ngozi can be anything you want her to be. Just a little makeover. That sounds like too much work for me. I don't have time. Okay, fine. Why don't you give her money to sort herself out? You know, new clothes, new hair, total rebranding, stuff like that. She'll be very sharp. Bro, are you even listening to me? Yeah, he goes again. Are you? Up for whatever wrong you have done. Why? At least for once. Oh, eh? it? Nata, I told you since morning that I am here. I told you. Since morning. But Mba, you just to stay there until late. Oh, the ma, is it good? Mama, don't be like that. I got caught up with a lot of things. Mm. Yes. So those things you got up with. They are more important than your mother. No. Um, I had an impromptu meeting with a client. Why are you sounding like this now? Huh? Mama the mama. <laughs> mama the mama. <laughs> mama, how are you? I'm fine. As you can see, I'm fine. <laughs> Nam, I miss you. Mama, I miss you too. It's a lie, you didn't miss me. <laughs> I miss, miss you. You didn't miss me anything. You didn't miss me. <laughs> okay. So tell me, what brings you to my humble abode? <laughs> uh, no. Why I care is to ask you one big question. Why have you refused to give me grandchildren? <laughs> Mama, uh -huh. I thought we had talked about this already. Uh -huh. I am not ready to be a father. Why are you not ready? Yeah. Why are you not ready now? See, okay, if you are not ready, there are things you have to do to be ready. Hmm? Like doing jogging, like this. Eh? You jog, and then uh, where they say you go somewhere to carry all this 
Iron, iron, iron. Eh? The gym. Gym. Uh -huh. You go to the gym and then you be gyming, gyming, gyming until you have enough strength to pregnant your wife. That is what I, I want you to do. I don't need to go to the gym mm. to have strength to impregnate any woman. Then what is the matter? Casey oh, hey, Jinky Tom. I am just not ready. <laughs> Nami, you have to be ready. Oh yes, you have to be ready. You see this one that I have come? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am not going. I am not going anywhere until I see that my, my daughter-in-law is pregnant. Fine. You're welcome to stay. Of course I will stay. This your emotional blackmail is not going to work on me today, so stop it. Mm. Yes, mm. and you. You think you think wearing this this nonsense towel will entice me? Hey, Matt. hey. Ngozi, Ngo, what happened in there? Huh? Mama, I did as she told me. He now got very angry with me. I'm tired though. He will never like me. Because, but do you love him? Eh, Mom? You do? Yes. Uh -huh. See, together, together, we must win him over. Me and you, we must win him over. Eh? Stop all this crying. Eh? That is why he is treating you the way he is doing. Ma, because you are tired. always crying for him. I am tired. I don't deserve this. I know. You don't deserve it at all. But I want to tell you that we must win him. Now get up. I am taking you into that room now. 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 Oh. You, won't, you won't go there. I am scared though. You don't have to be scared. I'm going on What's this? Each one good marriage. You don't want this money. Are you sure? I'm sure. I'm scared, though. I don't be scared. Pardon me. I am behind you. Let's go. Roto! Gana, gana, gana. Get out What do you think you want to do? I am 
go to sleep in the other room if she's going to sleep here. Stay This is my house and I can do whatever I want to do. Say lie, it's the boom wig. It's See, if you leave this room this night, <laughs> I am going to leave your house this minute. And whatever happens to me, you are answerable in the village. Go there and answer that. Ah ah! Mama, she's on the bed now. Can you, can you just go? She'll sleep here, don't worry. It's fine. Now, what is even your problem? What I'm asking is not too much. Just give me grandchildren. Is it too much to ask? But Mama, she's there now. I will give you grandchildren. Just go. Diakne, mm -hmm. if he tries any rubbish, come and tell me. In the name Yes. <laughs> you come and tell me. Ah, okay, you need to be here. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma you keep quiet here. You keep quiet here. Snowing like that. What did I do? You are doing it again. I'm not doing it intentionally, no. See, you better find a way to stop that or you go to your room and snow your soul out. I want to sleep. You heard what Mama said. Eh? I will have to sleep in this room. If you like, you can go to the guest room and sleep. I am not leaving this room. Be a lady and stop acting stupid. So, I am not a lady because I snore. Eh, what? Is it my fault? so early look if you're into surprise hmm? what surprise are you talking about I want to serve you breakfast in bed hmm. mm -hmm. I'm sorry about that but I couldn't help noticing that you were not in bed Baby. what why don't you leave this surprise and come with me to bed because right now the only breakfast I want to have is you Really? Yes. You know, I like it when you sound naughty. Mm. But you know you have work, right? Work? What to go to? Mm -hmm. Baby, when it comes to you, nothing else matters. Not even my job. 
Proposing to me in the kitchen? No, <laughs> babe. Not like I'm proposing to you right now, but I'm just making my intentions known. I love you, and I also want to spend the rest of my life with you too. And have beautiful babies with your cute eyes. <laughs> and your cuteness. Mm. Oh. Me, cute. Mm -hmm. You're very Please. cute. You're watching me. <laughs> Talking about babies. Why don't you go inside and start making a baby? Now? Yes. Right now? Uh -huh. No! Why not? No. I mean, we've been together for how long? There's nothing wrong with that baby. I don't know. We meet him one step at a time. Oh. No. Yes, you are. Right. <laughs> <Daddy. Stop. laughs> I am not. I love Nathaniel, 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 hmm? uh -uh. why are you here? Nathaniel, did you sleep here? What does it look like, Mama? Look, I've been in. Yes. Go and ask your daughter in law. Got up and left the room. He said I was snoring and disturbing his sleep. Yeah, why did you snore now? Huh? Hmm? Why did you snore? Mama, hmm? what kind of question is that? I'm a fan of mama. Are you asking me? I'm working at you. Did anything happen last night? Like a what? Uh, did you do it? Did you do what? Ah, ah, go see Kanka. Ibu Dobo. Don't you know what husband and wife do in their rooms? Don't you know? Huh? Eh? Mama, nothing happened. Nothing happened. Hey, you mean you wasted last night? You just wasted it. Mama, you know your son does not like me. Eh? Then, make him to like you. How? Okay. I will teach you how. I will tell you how. Ha! Mama, you know eh? Mama, uh -uh. The one you told me, he nearly gave me slap on my face. I tell you, I'm big Come on. This one will work. And I know this one is definitely going to work. Oh, I need grandchildren. Is it too much to ask? the last time I saw you, you been stuck in my head. I can't get you out of my stupid head. <laughs> it's not funny. Okay, fine. What are you doing tonight? 
Nothing. Why oh. do you ask? Can I take you on a dinner date? Please. <laughs> Come on. Fine. <laughs> All right, then. Ladies first. It's got some white car. You're looking busy for my Thank you. <laughs> Incompetent for the deal. Frank, you are making a big mistake. Oh my God. If this dinner happens in my house, we are still going to lose this deal. Come on, don't just spoil my mood. Fix it. It's your house. I should fix it. Yes, it is your house. Did you ask me before fixing that, that date in my house? Nathan, you're a big boy. Fix it. Frank. Absolutely. Frank, I am talking to you. Frank, we will have that dinner. Today went well. Yes, sir. Uh, it was okay. Thank God. Ah, mm. uh, Mama, where is Ngozi? Oh, she's in the kitchen. Oh, uh, Ngo. Hey, hey, no, 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 Mama, it's, it's okay. Huh? Just look. Uh, I have been meaning to ask you this question. When are you leaving? Hmm? When are you leaving? Chimu. Yay! Yeah. Are you pursuing me from the house? Uh, hey, now. Uh, um, huh? No, no, no. What I meant was, I, I want to know when you are leaving so I can make proper arrangements. <laughs> Gladys, Gladys. Nathaniel. Mama. Do you think I am a fool? No. Eh? In a ceremony, you think I am a fool. Now, I have told you this. I am saying it again. Have it right here. I am not going out of this house until my daughter-in-law gets pregnant. I fear it. Mama, th that will never happen. Uh, yes. Why? Is she not a woman? Mama, she's a woman, but look at her. And woman. a very fine woman like that. Mama, we are not in the same class. Look, I'm here and she's here. Uh -huh. It's not going to be possible. Hey, hey, bring her up. When you brought her up, no. Go on at the same level, get one. Bring her up to your level. Nathaniel, 
<laughs> Nathaniel, I want you to give me grandchildren. Mama. Give me grandchildren. I, I don't think this is too much to I, ask. I will give you grandchildren. Uh -huh. But right now, I am not ready. Why are you postponing it? Why? Mama, I am not ready. You are not ready? Yes. Akoko. Akoko Ikoja. Hey, Mama. You are back. When did you come back? I came uh, a while ago. Eh, food will soon be ready. Eh, no, no, I don't bother. I've already eaten. Eh, yeah. These things that you're going to buy, that's what I want you to buy tomorrow. Good. Thank you. Uh, don't thank me yet. Mama, mm -hmm. please. I want you to help her to make some nice delicacies. I will do just that. This is what I want you to do now. This is what you should be doing. No. Uh, if no. you guys need anything, I'll be in my room. Hey, <laughs> will. Oh, this is... No. Take this one. Mm -hmm. Take this one. Uh, this one can do for the, the, the Okreka dresses that he's talking about. How much is Okreka? Wake up. This Ben Town Select. How much is it in the market? Some are 200. Even the, the, the better ones, 500. This one is even too much. Mm -hmm. Mama, why now? Why? Why? Now? why what? I told you I am saving up to start tomato business. Tomato business? How much is a basket of tomato? Uh, this one is even too much. Let me take some, some set. I want to be to go and finish it. There you go. You should have stayed. You should have stayed for us. I looked for you everywhere. <laughs> this conversation again? Nathan, you, you're not serious. What is funny? Why are you laughing? I should have fought for us. Nathan, your mother pushed me away. You chose your mother over me. So what am I supposed to fight for? A man who chose his mother over me? Hell no. I won't do that. For us. For every good thing that we had. I just wanted you to fight. You're very selfish. Also, you expect me to fight alone. Why you sit pretty and be a mama's boy? No, 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 no. I was never a mama's boy. Yes, you were, Nathan. You were. Look, you're married. Just go back to your wife and forget about the past. You think it's easy? You think it is easy? 
You call that thing that I'm in a marriage? Well, for your satisfaction, I am in hell. For my satisfaction? Yes. You're so full of yourself. Also, you think by telling me that I would jump into your arms and forget about everything? Nathan, you took six years away from my life. And you're not even sorry. And yet you blame me for everything that happened. Leave. I said, leave and don't come back. Easy man, come on, easy. Don't you think you're drinking too much? I want to ease my pain. And you think this will ease your pain? Hold yourself. I want Alani. I want her back. It's too late for that. What do you mean it's too late? Huh? What do you mean it's too late? Come on, stop doing this to yourself. Hey, are you listening to me? It's okay. You need to move on. Alani has moved on. How do you expect me to do that? Have you seen that thing that I'm married to? Come on, Nathan. You've taken too much alcohol. I think it's high time we went home. Yeah. Come on. I'm not going home. Because if I go home, I might do something stupid to her. Don't do this to yourself. Look at yourself. I am not going. Just lead me to drink. Nathan. Excuse me. No, 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 no. This is the last. Come on, we're going home. Frank. How much? Frank. Are you my friend? Yes. Then don't do this. Please. Please, bring the bottle for me. Don't do this now. Come, let's go. I beg go. I beg go. Okay. Or gap. Or gap. Oh, yeah, fine. My bed. What is it? Why are you shouting? What 
Who oh, did you take advantage of me? Hey, I, I, I did not do anything, no. You were the one that came back and started talking sweet to me. Shut, shut you, up. You, you, me, say sweet things to you. You, hey, you don't remember. Hey. You called me princess. And so shut I, up, me, call you princess. So, you saw that I was drunk and you didn't stop me? Yes. Why should I? You are my husband. I, Get out of here this minute! Why are you so angry? Do you want me to hit you? Get out! Get out of that happened between us. He woke up and behaved like nothing happened. God, you, you mean that... Uh, yes, Mama. You are Nakanya. Yeah! You know what? Then why you, you shouldn't be crying. Eh? You should not be crying. You should be happy. Hey, I knew it. I knew it was going to happen. Oh, yeah, man, I'm back. I know that my son loves you. He loves you. No, my man. All he was trying to do is uh, playing hard to get. Mm. I know he loves mm -mm. you. He does not love me. Tata, he does not. He was drunk. He was not, he did not know what he was drunk, doing. Drunk, drunk again. He loves you. He loves you. Oh, quack on me to gara 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 gara. It's okay, stop crying. Stop crying. Uh, I went to the market. Mm? I bought those dresses for you. Mm? And so many other things. Go to my room on my bed. Bring that black line up. Gawa, stop crying. Stop crying. I'm here. I am here for you. Very, very. Uh, give me back. I'm here. Go and bring it. Mama, I like this. You one. like this one. How much you know? Anya, Anya, Jama, you had it. How much did you buy it? Five hundred naira. Very cheap. This one is five hundred naira. Eh. Then the other ones, three, three hundred. Hey. Mm. Mama. Inga. 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 Do you know why I bought this one? Why? I bought this one because of when you. Inga, <laughs> <laughs> baby. Mama. Mama, eh. Uh -huh. If I wear this one. Mm. I can't tell you the wise. He will fall for me one hand. What's that? <laughs> I know you. See, there are other things there, mm -hmm. like uh, um, powders, um, pancake, um, oh. eh? pancake. You know those pancake. They are. Eh? I'm a part of me here. Them mouth. Yes. Hey. Ben you know good things. Open on the inka kai ne toga. Man, you move the pancake kai na de tebe. Inte siya ya. If I pass, you must turn and look at me. Hey, yes. <laughs> Do you know what they call me then? What? Olu Bajie boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna look at that now that I'm ugly and old. Wow. Uh, this one, eh? Mm. K -k 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 where do they apply? See, these people are going to come tomorrow. Our visitors. Mm. It is before tomorrow. I will teach you how to rub them. I know how to rub all of them. Mama, now. thank eh? you. I will teach you how to rub thank them. Thank you. <laughs> Come inside there. Back the things out of my room. Maka, See, you don't have the right to ask your wife to pack out of your room. You don't I have don't the want right. to see this thing in my room again. It's not a thing, she's your wife. If I see her in my room again, I will kill her. You, you won't do such thing. Let you her try do it. it. Let her try it. What you try it? What, what is your problem? I'm going to the general beating. If you like, go and kill yourself. I don't care. You want me to kill myself? Yes. 
You want me to you. die? You. You want me to die up here? Nobody Don't die. die. Nobody die. Nobody die. Nobody die. Nobody die. Nobody die. I told you, he won't do anything. You, 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 you are not going anywhere. Quite no matter. I am here. I am here. I'm not leaving this house. Oh, you move. Oh, you move the two of us. He cannot do anything. Ah, hey, hey. Miss Alani. Mr. Quentin, good to see you. Thank you. You're yes, welcome. Yo. Hey, excellent. <laughs> I've almost given up that you won't give it to me again. <laughs> I do not disappoint. Although it was hard to let go, but after thinking about it last night, I figured out the best way to bury my past is by letting go of my past. We will see about that. I also want to thank you for what you did the last time. <laughs> hey, Miss Alani, I'm a businessman. I don't do favors. What do you mean? Good. You remember the last time you came to my house with one young man. What is that his name? Uh, Frank. Yes, Frank. You remember what I told you? Hi Frank. What are you doing in my gallery? Are you with Nathan? No, on the contrary, he doesn't even know I'm here. Oh. Place it. <sighs> Is everything all right? Uh, nothing much. It's just I need a favor from you. Okay. So what do you want? Okay, it's about one Mr. Clinton Omowa. Uh, he's one of the biggest art critics in Africa. I read his article about your work. Um, yes, I, I know him very well. He has been to my gallery many times. Oh, that's a big relief, honestly. What business do you have with him? He's a dangerous con artist. Oh, I'm quite aware. Uh, I've dealt with uh, men like Mr. Clinton so many times. Actually, we don't need him. It's his money we need so we can invest in a Swedish company for a high-tech medical supply. Mm. One you've not seen in Africa before. Okay. Um, and we want to be the first to bring it here. So Mr. Clinton is the only one that can make that happen. Hmm. So, is it loan or a corporate bond? A hey, corporate bond. And how well do you trust this company? Oh, about that. We've done our research. It's 100% legit. <sighs> so why do you need my help? <laughs> so, Nathan and I... No, no, no. If this has anything to do with Nathan, I am sorry I cannot help you. Are you sure? What do you mean? Aladdin, I know you are still very much in love with Nathan. No, never. Okay, if you say so. Oh, and that's my homeboy. I thought you said you're over him. Is this not obsession? How did you know that was there? Let's say a little bit told me. Claire, I am going to kill her. Come on, Alani. No need for that. You took your time and met this wonderful painting. That is Nathan. If this is not an obsession, so what do we call it? See. All I'm asking you is to, for you to help us make this deal happen. And I promise you in return, you will have Nathan back. How are you going to do that? He's married. He is miserable. So, 
So, if I agree to help you, how are you going to convince Nathan to take me back? See, Alan, Nathan, do not need convention. He wants you back. And besides, you know this already. Yes, you know. Salani, I can see you came with a little friend. Yes, I did. Make yourselves comfortable. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Great. No, thank you. We are fine. What about you, young man? No, thank you, sir. I'll pass. Okay. Salani, it's been a long time. You are okay? Yes, very fine. Thank you. Let's say you come with my painting. Oh, yes, that's true. I'm putting finishing touches to it. So once I'm done, we will get it. You know, that's a lame excuse. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. It's all right. What do you want? Okay, um, this is Mr. Frank. Mr. Frank, this is Mr. Clinton. <laughs> There is no need for formal introduction. I know Frank very well. Oh. What do you want? Okay, um, Mr. Clinton. Not you, Mr. Salami. Young man. Uh, me. Can't you talk? Oh, me, sir. Uh, no. Okay, yes, I can talk. Talk? I don't have all day. Uh, sir, it's, it's about our proposal. Uh, I'm really sorry about what happened the last time, sir. Mm. It's not you that is supposed to apologize to me, but your boss. <laughs> My boss, no, sorry, <laughs> My colleague, sir. <laughs> mm. He that couldn't beat up the time for our first appointment. How am I supposed to entrust millions of Naira into a company that is run by a man that don't have value for time? Is that possible? Sir, um, we apologize for what happened the last time. Give us another chance. I'll personally oversee the running of this business this time around, sir. Please. What did you say? Huh? You that couldn't do a proper presentation to hold me back that day. How do you want me to believe that you run a business ranking into millions? Because I... Mm, this time around, eh? Um, Mr. Clinton, yes. if you don't mind, I would like to say something. Go ahead. You see, I assure you that these men are capable. They will deliver. I can assure you of that. And I can vouch for them. So you can really vouch for me? Absolutely. What is your relationship with him? Uh, They've been an old friend. I've known them way back. It's okay. I will do the business with him for your sake. But you owe me a favor. I am willing to do anything. Young man. Sir, sir. Congratulations. Thank you so much, sir. You now have a deal with me. Thank, thank, thank you so much, sir. You don't need to thank me. Thank the lady. Oh, <laughs> of course, Mr. Uh, Miss Alani. Uh, but, sir, I promise you this time, I will not fail you. Thank you once again, Mr. Clinton. We'll be on our way now. That's up, man. Remember, you owe me. I will not forget. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, too. You're welcome. Hi. Very vividly. Yes. Good. So, but what do I owe you? <laughs> Very simple, Miss Alani. Marry me. Meanwhile, take that thing inside. Oh, 
in your little games. I mean, you and Nathan can just bring my life a second time. Whoa, whoa, slow down. What are you talking about? Mr. Quentin asked me to marry him. The price I have to pay for convincing him to partner with you guys is marriage. This is unbelievable. Is that all you're going to say? Look, my life and my career is at stake. I spent my entire life building this career. I will not let that happen. Not for you and not for later. Look, look, I want you about him. I know my limits with him. I know if I do not marry him, he's going to give me bad reviews and that would end my career. Come on, I'll fix this. You don't need to bother yourself. Trust me. Just play along. Play along. Before you know it, we'll seal this deal. I'll fix it. Please. You must think that I'm stupid, right? So you want to use me as a scapegoat? Nobody's using anybody around me. I mean, you of all people should know I can't use you. Okay? Just play along. Call him more. Tell him you have agreed to his terms. By tomorrow morning, I'll go to his house. Once we seal this deal, I'll put Mr. Clinton in his rightful place. Trust me. Embarrassing herself at the gates. Which dress? This dress that she's wearing. Uh, this is one of the dresses you said said I should buy for her. Mama, so all the money I gave you people, this is what you could get? This, this, this thing! Oh, 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 oh. Why do you like to insult me? Okay, will you shut your mouth? Why are you shutting her up? Eh? Do you know that this girl is a very good girl? She said she wants to, to buy a, 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 a tomato, this basket of tomato, and sell to help you. It's nonsense business. 
No, tell me which nonsense business. Look, look at her face. What is wrong with my face? You look like a witch. I'm also. So if my guest were to come to this house, this is what I'll be dealing with. Leave this girl alone. Ah, ah, Natana, leave this girl alone. Don't mind her. I hope you have not come to play the victim or pass the blame. Why are you being so cold to me? How am I supposed to act? Can we start over as friends? It's too late for that. What do you mean it's too late? I'm getting married. What? No, you're kidding, right? Why? So you think you're the only one that can get married and I can't? Nathan, you've ruined everything. You did. You just the mama's boy who couldn't stand up to his mother. I tried. You tried? Yes. Nathan, your mother threw me out of the house. She even questioned my parents' upbringing. And you did nothing about it. That is a lie. <laughs> so now I'm lying. Hmm? You don't know what happened that day. Hey, no. Good afternoon, Ma. Ah, uh, Obama. You're welcome. Who are you with? Uh, Mama. This is the beautiful lady that I've always told you about. Mm -hmm. Alani. It's my mother. It's so nice to meet you, Ma. Nathan has told me so much about you. <laughs> Alani? No, Alani. Whatever. Do you know what Alani is? No, I know I Alani. Now, who is Ma, it's Alani. Not Olani. Mm. She's. She's the one I want to marry. Mm. Is she not the one you have been talking about? Yes. Yeah, the one that is from a very far place. Mama, bam, she's the one. Ah. <laughs> now, you cannot marry her. Huh? Mm? Why? You can't marry her. Ah. Don't you know you are my only son? You cannot go to that far, far place to go and marry. You can't even marry in the next village. Come to talk of a place I will, I will, that will take me two days to go to. Mba, no. Mba. Mama, we've been dating for six years now. And we are like husband and wife. Eh, yes. It's so good. The young one as a You have been living with a man for six years. A man that has not done anything traditionally on your head. That is the man you have been living with for six years. I don't think your mother did a good job in, on your head. Is it? What is all this? Now? What you is embarrassing me? You know, I say embarrassing. What I'm saying is that you cannot marry. You cannot. Look at the person you want to marry. You can't. As a guess, somebody that has not done anything on your head. Nathan. Nathan, what is this? Mama, have I offended you before? You have not offended me. But I am saying that this is my only son. He cannot marry you. Why, Mama? See the person you want to marry. Look at her. She's almost naked inside out. Hey, this is the first time you, you are coming to me, isn't it? And you are dressed like this. Neta. Neta. Mama. You cannot marry her. Mama, stop this now. You are embarrassing me. Uh -huh. You are embarrassing me. Is you? I have to go. Huh? It seems I'm not welcome in your house. Of course you are not. Go! Hey, 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 hey! You! Why do you think you're 
One more move, and I will, I will slice my, 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 my throat. Mama, I will slice it yeah, now, Mama, you see. Mama, please, put that knife down. Please, bring it down. I will not go after her. Please, just bring that knife down, please. What, what, what is it? Eh? What is it? Mama, bring the knife down now. Bring it down. You have to make a promise to me. A promise? Yes, you have to promise me that you will never look away. You will never. Oh, you are still doing Mama, she's gone. I, I, I promise. I will not look away. I won't. Bring, bring that knife down. Please. But there is one more promise you have to what make. Promise again now? What is all this? Man, you have to promise me that you are going to marry whosoever I present to you to marry. Okay. I promise I will marry whosoever you bring for me to marry. Please, bring the knife down. Cross your heart. I cross my heart. <laughs> She vowed to kill herself if I'd gone after you that day. You were never serious. You and I know that your mother loves her life more than anything. Why would she want to kill herself? Why? Alani. She only used that against you because she knows that you have a very soft spot for her. Can you listen to me? I want to make things right. Please, give me a chance. It's too late, Nathan. What? I'm getting married to Mr. Clinton. You... You're getting married to Mr. Clinton? Wait, the same Mr. Clinton that I know? But why would you want to marry an old grumpy fool? It's none of your business! Oh. Oh. Wow. Nathan, bye bye. And why are you not home yet? It's almost midnight. I have to finish this up. Or oh, you're avoiding home. You mean a good? Yes. I have been avoiding this for years and now look at this. I can't even look at her face. I feel so irritated by my actions. Relax, I understand how you feel. Don't be too hard on yourself. You knew my honey is getting married to Mr. Clinton. Um no, uh yes. How long ago? Bro, oh, just a few days. When were you going to tell me? I was going to I you, I got carried away with work and she did all this for you. Frank, how can you keep such a sensitive matter from me? And why would she want to marry an old fool like Mr. Clinton? And why would you think Mr. Clinton would want to put in such amount of money for a corporate bond for a small company like ours? This was all Alan is doing. I was shocked to hear that it, uh, it, the part of the agreement was that Alan was going to marry him. Honestly, we are pulling out. No, bro, it's too late. We have not signed the agreement. I have. What? How can you do that without my consent? Exactly. I knew you were going to react like this. Frank, why would you lie to me? We are not doing this. Bro, I did this for us. What do you mean you did this for us? What is that? My signature is not on that document, which means it is void. You think I can make a good decision for us? At the detriment of other people's lives? No. When you're done with your personal affairs and you come back to your senses, you can put your signature where it belongs. But you have lost your mind. Bro, this is the best thing for us. No, 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 no. It's just you. This is the best thing for you. Now let me tell you something. Whatever comes out of this game, you're out of it. Sorry, bro. You're really proud of this. Right. Read my lips. You need to sign this. I will not sign it!
later. What do you mean by you are, you are leaving? Uh, is it not obvious that you don't want me in your house? Ha. Is it not? Uh, let me go back to my husband's house. Uh, at least I have a house in my, in my, in my village. How can what you say you? something like that? Okay, if it's because of what I said the last time, Mama, you should know that I was not serious. I was not serious. You were very serious. You were very serious. And I think I have overstayed my welcome. Uh, <laughs> I am very, very happy now. I will go. Mm? No, uh, at least my mission has been accomplished. And, and what mission is that? Uh, no, I am very, very, very sure. It, it is not even possibility because I know it has happened. Uh, what happened between you and Ngozi the last time? I am very, very sure she will be pregnant. Huh? And yes, you know, and I say, ah, ah. Expecting my first grandchild. Isn't it wonderful? You are expecting your first grandchild? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Mama, eh? If Ngozi is pregnant, eh? I will kill that girl. You cannot do it. Nah, oh. Listen, oh, listen. Oh. In Abakashanya, you cannot do a thing like that. No See, don't allow me get any complaint from her. Because if I do, what I will do when I come here? <laughs> nobody, nobody will say that I am wrong. Mama, I am not joking, though. No. I am not joking. Me, me, look at me. Does it look as if I'm joking? Does it look like I'm joking? No problem. You should be, you should be very happy. Me, I am very happy. I, I'm very soon. I will be expecting my grandchild. <laughs> Gladys will be expecting her grandchild. No. So you're lying to me? Because we are pregnant. I am not pregnant. If you are not pregnant, then why is Mama going about saying that you are pregnant? I don't know. Do you take any contraceptive? Co contraceptive? Nathaniel, I have for my cabico. After that mistake that happened the last time, did you take any drugs? For what? To prevent you from getting pregnant. Hey! Why should I? Are we not married? Because if it happens that you are pregnant, I will kick that baby out of your stomach. Do I make myself clear? Do you hear me? Yes! Leave me a window, a window pregnant.
Nathan, what do you want? We need to talk. Make it brief. I have some deliveries to do. Frank told me what you did for me. I didn't do it for you. Then for who? I did it for myself. Look. Look, I have many big clients that come highly recommended by Mr. Clinton. He gives my work good reviews. And that has earned me many awards and recognition. So don't assume that everything is all about you. I can see your mind is already made up. Yes. Oh, hey. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Ma'am, Mr. Larry is done with the fumigation. Okay, that's fine. So, did he tell you how long it would take before we move into the house? Yes, he said a week or two. Alright, that's fine. You know what? Book a hotel room for two. Okay. Alright, ma'am. Wait. Why would you pay for a hotel for two weeks when you can stay with me? I am fine. I don't need your help. And moreover, I am still that Yoruba girl your mother despises so much. Alani. I mean, how can you... Paying for two weeks in a hotel seems like a lot of expenses to me. I can afford it. Yes, I know you can afford it. But just come and stay with me. That reminds me, I... I have something for you. <sighs> wow. You... You did this for me? I spent one year doing this. It's my best work. What did I do to deserve you? But I am not yours. Alani, listen to me. You I... haven't told me if you like the painting. Oh, I don't like it. I love it. Thank you. Will there be room for my girl and I? The house is big enough. We'll be coming tomorrow. I'll be waiting for you. Thank you. But, but for real though, this is really dope. I, I love it. <laughs> I was, well, I'm glad you like it. I'm just going to hang this in my house when I get home. This is dope. to Alani and Nathan. Oh, I don't even know where to start from. But we'll start from the very beginning. <sighs> they loved each other so much. Mm -hmm. But not as much as I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you love me? Isn't it obvious? Hmm. Anyways, if they love each other as much as you say, why are they not together? <sighs> Nathan's mom had a problem with Alani's uh, tribe. Oh, really? Yeah, that's why she married a village girl for Nathan. Hmm. <laughs> Someone she can control, right? Possessive mothers are like that, and I don't get it. Why? I doubt that's the case. So what then? You know, Nathan is the only child. And so? She was just being a protective mother. Really? Yeah. Okay. I'm Yoruba. Do I have to be worried? Yes, you have to be worried. What? <laughs> Come on, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm oh joking. my god. No. And indirectly, are you actually proposing to me? No! Tell me the truth. No! I would like that. Come on. <laughs> no! I mean, don't get I, your what makes you think I want to get married to you? Anyway. I know, because I know you're not. I do not. Come on, let's go inside. Hey, I'm, 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 I'm tired. Come on! I don't know. No, 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 no. Please no. don't do it. Don't be clumsy! 
Lucy, hurry up! I'm trying! Come on! I need to stay for just one week. Why are all the bags? Just do us like safe. What's your plan? To get my man back. No way. And all the story about fumigation? Part of the plan. And Mr. Clinton? <laughs> Leave him to me. And by the way, where were you all night? I was with Frank. <laughs> Frank? Yeah. He's serious? Mm hmm I think he is. Come on, let's go. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Let's wait. <laughs> What made you change your mind? Because I trust you. Uh -uh, uh -uh. Tell me the truth. I would not sit down and watch Alani marry a man like Mr. Clinton. And I pray, I pray that you're right about this deal. Please, don't go against Mr. Clinton. He's too dangerous. Where's the rest of the documents? Nathan, are you even listening to me? Alani is my Bro, what about your wife? I don't have a wife. I have to go. And I need to on the way to the house. Nathan, this is so wrong. Really? Yes. You think you're in a position to tell me what is right and wrong? You think so? that anybody's coming so I will not open this gate for you. And Dibia, don't touch this gate. Oh. You know I can't believe he actually married that that woman. Well I think she's adorable, okay? doing out here? So that's because your wife refused to allow us coming. Um, I am truly sorry. Please, I will open the gate for you. Why don't you drive me, okay? Forgive me. I'm sorry. I don't know them. Did they not tell you that they were here to see me? You did not tell me anyone is coming. Yeah. What is my offense now? Every time you're looking for what to shout, shout, shout. Come on, will you shut up your mouth? 
You see these people here? They are my guests. They will be staying here for a week or two. Please, be of best behavior. Hi, my name is Alani. It's nice to finally meet you. Um, so, how about our luggage? Oh, your bags. Um, Ngozi, go to the car and get your bags. Hey! Who? Me? I have something I am doing in the kitchen because. Ngozi. Uh, don't worry, I'll get the bags. This place has changed so much. Better, I suppose. Yeah, it's perfect. It's good. Please make yourself comfortable. Do you care for anything to drink? Water is fine. Just water? Yeah. How can you come to my house and just take water? Let me give you your favorite. You know, I still know your favorite. You know? <laughs> Alright. You want it? What was that attitude you displayed out there? Adjuju, draw me also. As if you're not the one that insulted me out there. You told me not to open it for somebody I don't know. You even told me to carry their bags. Me! Now you listen to me. These people are my guests. Throughout the time that they are going to stay in this house, I want you to behave yourself. But why are they staying here? Is this your problem? Yes. Is this your house? Yes, it is my house. It is your house, Babogidia. What is Natalia, you will tell me why they are staying here. Mm. Holy Spirit, I call upon you this night as we are going to sleep. Cover this entire house with the blood of God. Cast and bind any evil thing that is surrounding this place. Who is this person that does not know that night has come? Eh? Interrupting evil spirits and the good spirits. What do you want? Um, I noticed that you're not happy that we're here. So, if it is you that your husband is bringing two women into the house without informing you, will you be happy? Uh, no, certainly I will be angry. And that is the more reason why I'm here, to apologize on his behalf. Who are you to apologize on his behalf? See, don't like to be nice to me, because I know your type. Girls that are purely around, looking for homes to break. But you see me, I am fire, and I will give it to you people, hot, hot. Um, sorry, nobody is here to break your home. I have noticed that your husband did not have any atom of love or respect for you. But if you let me, I will help you. My husband loves and respects me. From what happened out there tonight, I do not see how much he loves or respects you. You don't even know me. Why would you want to help me? Because I was not in your shoes. I know exactly how it feels for people to want to walk all over you just because they think you do not belong to their world. Let me help you. I don't trust you. Listen, you do not need to trust me to allow me to help you. Why are you girls here? Why? Fine, I'll tell you why we are here. Our house was communicated and we were asked to stay away for a week or two. So I saw Nathan's wife and she's such a sweetheart. Why doesn't he like her? That one. She's not literate, pure Lodo. <laughs> Excuse me? Is that it? That is not enough, babe. She can be taught. I can personally blend her in. Really? Mm-hmm. 
You know Alani likes knitting, right? And Alani is your boss. You should be on her side, not trying to help Ngozi instead. Maybe. Alani is my boss. I know that. But that doesn't mean I owe her my loyalty. Alani doesn't even like anything. She is up to no good and I am going to find out what it is before she destroys herself. I beg you in the name of God, stay out of their trouble. And besides, I don't want to see you get hurt. Baby, I'm fine. I'm not saying you're not fine. All I'm asking is for you to stay out of their trouble. I'm sorry, I, I don't think I can promise. No, 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 you have to do that for me. I don't want to see you get hurt, trust me. You don't want to come in between these two people. Nobody's going to hurt me and I am good. I know you're going to do that for me. Uh, come, what will I even offer you? Okay, let's see. Um... Are you going out? Yes, I have an urgent appointment. Okay. Okay. This place is a mess. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll tidy it. Thank you. It's fine. All right. I'll see you later. Okay. Just help me keep this in my makeup. Bye. So Alani is in your house now? Just for a week. No, that's not a nice decision at all. Honestly. It's not. Yeah. She needed accommodation and I helped. Your ex in your matrimonial home is not good for your marriage, man. <clears throat> She's not just anybody. Besides, she wanted us to patch things up. So what changed? Bro, this is so wrong. This is so wrong. I wanted you guys to patch things up. Not she sleeping in your matrimonial home. That's not it. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. How soon? Oh, fine, fine, fine. I have to run. Run to where? You're always running. Yeah. Why are you running? Alani, what are you doing in Nathan's house? I had a little accommodation problem, and he offered to help. Any problem? Alani, Nathan is married. Stay away from him. <laughs> Frank, Frank, Frank. You want me to stay away from Nathan? Yes, and what's funny? And who are you to tell me that? You think I don't know that you were using me? You must think that I am stupid. You wanted to sell me off to Mr. Clinton when you know how I feel about Nathan and how he feels about me. Hmm? He made a mistake in his marriage and he wants to correct that. So why does he bother you? Or are you hiding something? What are you talking about? Then tell me. Why all of a sudden you want me to stay away from Nathan? Why? Alani, what? What are you hiding? Alani, what you're doing Frank. is wrong. Nathan should be the one to decide who he wants to be with. You are not in the position to make that decision for him. If you will excuse me, I have work to do. Alani, what you are doing is wrong. Leave Nathan alone, he's married. I am just taking charge of my life. And besides, you can't deal with a man like Clinton, he's too dangerous. Leave that for me. See, stay away from Nathan. Are you sure your mother would be pleased to see me here? 
she's not coming back anytime soon, so there's nothing to worry about. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm very sure. Okay. with my husband. Can you not embarrass yourself? I am embarrassing myself. Eh, Juanata? This shameless woman is here, busy feeding you. And you are balancing there, easy from her hand. Eh? Nathan, please caution your wife. Are you mad? Hey, 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 that's, that's enough. Enough. Nathan, you are shouting at me. Because of this, this, this language! I, I said enough! Are you, are you, are you bad? Huh? Are you okay? Um, Nathan, it's, it's fine. Don't worry, just, 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 it's fine. No problem. But you will run away from this house, from me. I will deal with you. Will you get out of here? Get out of here if I slap you! Can I talk to you? Uh, sure. Sit down. Um, I found something on your desk yesterday. I didn't want to talk to you about it at home because I didn't want anybody to hear us. Mm, what is what is that? Why did you touch this? I mean, you shouldn't touch things that you do not understand. I clearly understand things like that. It's fraudulent and it can land you in jail. It's like I do not even know you. Of course you don't know me. It looks like I've given you too much leverage. From today, do not touch my things without my permission. Then you should fire me. Because I cannot sit and watch you put yourself into trouble. Stop apologizing. It's just like you could have gone down the house. What's bothering you? Darling, uh -huh. can you be honest with me? Alright. If you have a friend or someone really close to you that is doing something illegal and could get into serious problem, what will you do? I'll try and stop them. And if you fail, will you turn them in? Uh, it all depends. If it doesn't have any connection with me, I'll just let them do their thing. And why are you asking? It's nothing. It's nothing, okay? Can you please help me finish up with the kitchen? I'm having a strong headache and I need to rest now. Now I'm worried. Mm -hmm. Babe, are you sure you're fine? Babe, I just said I'm having a headache. Oh, fine. Okay. 
husband back, right? Uh -huh. What does it have to do with this thing? Do you know your husband likes Alani, right? That white bunch. Mm -hmm. And that is because of how she looks. Uh, so you are saying that if I start behaving like a white bunch, mm -hmm. my husband will like me? Yes, exactly my point. And you're even more beautiful than she is. Stop whining me. Can you always speak what I can understand whenever we're together, please? Why are you helping me? Eh? Is the white witch not your friend? She's my friend. But that doesn't mean I have to support her in everything she does. So please, shall we continue? Okay, get up. So stand with so much confidence. It is your stand. Easy. You have the floor all to yourself. Okay? All right? Stand. That's it. So take your best step. No, no, no. It's so funny. It's your kumbini, eh? I don't know why he does not like playing. Since I came into this house, I have never, never, never seen Nathaniel play. If I play, he will shout at me. Um, what's your denomination? Eh? I mean, what church do you attend? Oh, I am Pentecostal. Mm -mm. You attend Pentecostal. So which of them? <laughs> Don't worry about that. And your husband, where does he worship? He is Catholic. Okay. Uh, I attend Catholic here too, but I don't know some of their players. Mm, okay. Yeah. But that shouldn't be a problem because it doesn't matter. All that matters is um, the prayer. Every church serves the same purposes, which is to pray to God and wow. worship Him. Wow. Mm, we'll come to that later. Mm -hmm. But for now, tell me, do you like my face? Why don't you look at Jubilee? I mean, do you like my makeup? Oh, <laughs> it is fine. Oh, it's very fine. Okay. <laughs> very well then. I will teach you how to wear makeup. Hey! You mean it here? Yeah. Hey! <laughs> I will like it though. Oh. Because the one mama did for me before. Okay. Tatania did not like it at all. Oh, don't worry, my dear. I will teach you how to make it look like mine and he will like it. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank I like you. you I like you too. <laughs>
What's that? Get out. Yes, I have it. Okay, I'll be on my way now. Hey, Miss Alani. Mr. Clinton. You're most welcome. Thank you, Mr. Clinton. Do you know you are the most beautiful and most intelligent and the smartest girl I have ever met in my life? Thank you for the compliments, Mr. Clinton. You're welcome. I think this is what we have always wanted. <sighs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing. This is wonderful. This is too good to be true. Hmm. This calls for celebration. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, no. You see, I need to leave that house as soon as possible until things is well settled. And I must have that company under my name. Until then, there will be no celebration. Mm -hmm. If you think so. In that case, I'll serve it. Till then. Yes, please. It's okay. Um, you've really done well. I am so happy and impressed. And <laughs> to the beginning of a good life. Yeah, so, um, okay, let's do this. Bro, I'll call you back. Hi, Nathan. How are you? I'm good. Where have you been? I've been looking for you all morning. I went to see a client. Oh. Um, so, I was thinking, uh, maybe we should go have lunch? Lunch? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nathan, that won't be necessary. Because <sighs> I'm leaving. What? Why? Is, is, is this place not comfortable enough? No. Look, it's more than comfortable. But you see, a friend agreed for us to stay. And I don't want to inconvenience you and your wife. I am not complaining. Look, you can stay here for as long as you want. I know. But it seems your wife has a problem with that. And come to think of it, I am your ex. And it's not wise for me to be here. You are not just my ex. You mean more than that to me. We would have been married if things didn't turn bad for us. You know that. You should have married her. It's past tense. You have married me. It's present tense. That means I am your wife. So, this Amusocha is your girlfriend before, and you brought her into this house. Okay? So you want to leave me and marry her? Hey! Tataniel, you are very wicked. Obi Bologunko. Hey! Uh, Nathan, you can see that. And look, I don't want any more troubles. I think it's best I leave. You know, Alan, Alani, wait. Alani. Bye bye. You. Hey! Alani. Ngozi, what is it? Why is your face like this? Nathan Balilim, 
Nathan insulted me. Me, Ngoziwa Magnus. Nathan insulted me. What really happened? So, Amuswacha is Nathan's girlfriend before. Nathan even told her that he would throw me out of this house and marry her. Nathan is very wicked. No, don't say that, Ngozi. Don't say that, please. Do not let this bother you, okay? I have something for you. I don't want anything. What I want now is to go back to my mother's house. I am tired of this house. You're not going anywhere, Ngozi. This is your husband's house. Get yourself off this mood and come and see what I have to show you. You will love it. I know. Come. Let's go. for your husband, pray for your house, silently to your heart's content. God hears prayers either way. You can also encourage your husband to pray with you someday. Huh. Nathan. Mm -hmm. Nathan does not want me. He likes Samus Watcher. Because he don't say that. You're a very likable person. You are adorable too. Hmm? Nathan doesn't say you're worth, but I know someday he will. Because he, you see, I need you to know that you're very unique in your own way. And I don't want you to let anybody look down on you. Thank right? you. Thank you. Oh, to make him not God will give you a good husband. Oh, that. <laughs> Amen. Amen to that. Thank you. And one more thing. We'll leave you. Yes. I think after everything that happened, Alana wants us to leave. So, your husband chose you after all. You mean it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> Let us pray. <clears throat> Good morning, baby. Oh, what took you so long? Oh, I'm so sorry, baby. I got caught up in the office. What's wrong? Frank, what are you doing with Alani? Alani, come on, no, come on. I don't have any interest in her. That is not what I am talking about. Okay. Whatever you're doing with Alani, you need to stop it. What do you know? I do not know so much, but I know she's up to no good with Mr. Clinton. You need to stop it before it's too late. I can't tell nothing anything. He's not going to believe me. You and I know how he feels for her. 
Do you know what they're planning? No, but Frank, I am leaving. What do you mean by that? I got a job from Lagos, and with the way the atmosphere is changing, I'm thinking of taking the job. Baby, you will not do anything unless I tell you to. Do you understand me? Please, Frank, do not tell anyone I told you about this. About what? What Promise are you even talking me. about? Promise me you won't tell anybody. Fine. We have lost everything! What are you talking about? Alani blindly too. Look at this. Look at this. She managed to lay her hands on the original documents of this part. Right under your own nose. What? Yes. Before you complain about my makeup, I am still learning. Um, you look absolutely ravished. Really, bro? Your makeup is moderate and well blended. Ah. Is it a good thing? Oh, yes. smiling with me and you said I am beautiful I am sorry I am so sorry for everything I have done to you these past years 
I fail to realize your love and care. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your prayers. You were fighting unforeseen battles for me and I never noticed it. From today, I will be your husband. I will love you. I will care for you. But most importantly, I will pray with you day and night. Oh, and uh, I will eat anything you cook for me. For today. I am sorry. Too. I cooked very special food for you. Thank you so much for your help. It's fine, it's okay. Uh -huh. Were you able to sort out everything? Yes, but we are still in it. Don't worry, with time things will turn out fine. I also found out that Alani and Mr. Clinton, they've been tangling all the way they were together at Australia. All this thing happening, these are things they've planned for so many years. Oh my God. Anyway, thank you so much again. Eh? What you did is not easy, you know, standing for something that is right, especially for someone that is so close to you. I know. I know how you feel right now. I did what I had to do. I did it for everybody. She fooled me too. Yes, she did. My flight is tomorrow morning. <sighs> don't worry. Trust me. I'll find you. Okay. And I'll make sure I don't keep you waiting. Okay. Oh, I'm going to miss, miss you, you so much. <laughs> oh my God. My husband, Mr. Clayton Davidson, he transferred his shares to me. Well, it will shock you to know that we've been married for two years now. Just so you know, nothing you do shocks me. Bye. Keep it clean, Nathan. Just consider this as payment for what you and your mother did to me. <laughs> what is so funny? You're so ridiculous. What happened to you? You and your stupid excuse of a mother ruined my life, Nathan. After years of building life with you, she threw me out like I was nothing. And you stood and watched. Remember you started this company with my money. You will go to jail for this. <laughs> and how do you intend to do that? 
I mean, you have no evidence against me. Clinton is in EFCC custody. What they have on him, trust me, will keep him in jail for the rest of his life. Officer, move her out of my seat. Don't touch me. Aladdin is over. Excuse me, madam. Come on, officer. Get up! Come on, officer. This way, please. This way. I'll be back. I'll be coming for you. Madam, this way. Just, just look at the road. Let me be. Please, I'll officer, I'll have back. Don't forget your back. Pick your back, madam. Just know that I will kill you. I will kill you by the time I... 